We will cover two methods to inserting text. Using this first method, place your cursor approximately where you want the text to be in. Click on Add Text. In the Object Position Settings dialog, leave From Cursor Position checked. The duration is the entire remainder of the project. I'm going to change this to 8 seconds. Layers Position, Add Layer will add a layer to the bottom of your project. Insert Layer will insert a layer above any selected clip. Since I currently don't have a clip selected, I will leave the Add Layer option selected and click OK. In the Video Preview window, click approximately where you want the text to appear. In the timeline, a text box has appeared. You can format the text before typing, or you can just begin typing your message and format afterward. If you've already typed your message and need to format it, hold down Control, then press A to select all the text. You can change the text color choose whether or not it is highlighted. You can also change the opacity of the highlight to make it semi-transparent. Change the font. Change the size. Among many other text formatting. Now if you change the size, you may need to change your text box size so that your formatting fits. If you want to keep a video clip and its associated text clip together, you can move layers by left clicking on the layer, holding your left mouse button and moving your mouse up. In addition to using the green up and down arrows. Now remember, VSDC has a bottom up priority. So if you move the text above your video clip, the text is no longer visible. The video clip is overcoming the, vi the text. Now I will show you an alternative way to insert text. On the timeline here, you can actually define a workspace. That is this light gray bar between the two blue bars. You can use this workspace to adjust your zoom by clicking on Set Timeline Scale by Work Area. You can also use it for inserting text of a certain length. So if I click on Add Text, now in the Object Position Settings dialog, by default, the selection is by work area. So I do not need to change the duration. It's already set by the length of the work area. I'm going to cancel this. Click on the associated video clip and go back to the add text dialog. This time I'm going to click on insert layer and click OK. Then click in the video preview window approximately where I want the text to be and type my message. Now as you can see, the text is not visible. In the timeline, the text is above the video. The insert layer option inserts a layer above the selected clip. So to make your workflow a little more efficient, Choose the preceding clip, 
add text by work area, insert layer, OK. Click on the preview window, type your message. Now the text has been inserted within the work area, but below the associated video clip. I'm going to format this text. A text clip is unlike a video or audio clip in that you do lengthen or shorten its duration by dragging the end of it. In fact, if you right click on the text clip, cutting and splitting is grayed out. If you'd like, you can also rename these clips at the right under the properties window. To fade the text in or out or both, right click on the text clip, go to video effects, transparency, and choose either fade in or fade out. Once you choose the effect, the Object Position Settings dialog shows up. A fade in effect, by default, is already added to the scene beginning. Click OK. You are taken to the Object Properties window. The fade in effect appears and can be lengthened or shortened by dragging the end of it. Hold your left mouse button on the end of the effect move your mouse left and right, then release the left mouse button to place. Click on the Scene tab and preview the project. A fade out is added in the same way. Right click on the text, Video Effects, Transparency, Fade Out. This time in the Object Position Settings dialog, Scene End is chosen by default for the Fade Out effect. Click OK. You are taken into the Object Properties window again. You can see your Fade In effect and you can see it has added a Fade Out effect at the end. Change the length of the effect. If needed, click on the Scene tab and Preview. You can adjust the position of your text anytime by holding your left mouse button on the text in the video preview window, moving your mouse, then release your left mouse button to place. To rotate text, right click on the text, go to Video Effects, Transforms, Rotate. I want the text to be rotated during the entire duration of the text clip. So on the Object Position Settings dialog, I'm going to click Whole Parent Duration and click OK. Reposition the cursor on the timeline so that you can preview the text rotation. The rotation can be adjusted at the right on the Properties window at the bottom where it says Rotate Angles. You can also animate the rotation by clicking on the straight line to the right of the Rotate Angles value. A second angle value appears in the Rotate Angles box. Change that value to a different angle. So the animation will be a rotation from 15 degrees to 30. We'll preview this. If 
you need to add text to the beginning of your project, click on Select All. Hold your left mouse button on any of the clips and begin moving your mouse. Release the mouse button to place. Keep in mind that VSDC performs this very poorly, so check to make sure your clips are still aligned. Fortunately, no matter how far out of alignment your clips become, one efficient method to rearrange them is to click on the first clip, hold control, and left click the remaining clips, click on set blocks order. Now the clips are all lined at their seams again. Now you can add text at the beginning of your project.